Hello, this is Anton Zimin and welcome to my channel AZ Filmmaking. Today we're going to talk about how to expose Sigma FP correctly in order to preserve your highlights when shooting Cinema DNG RAW. Highlights are very important for Sigma FP because its shadows are surprisingly very clean compared to other cameras, even on high ISOs. Well, when I've started testing my new Sigma FP, I found out that when you shoot in Cinema DNG, its built in exposure meter particularly Zebra, works correctly only for RISE 100. It works fine if you shoot in Moo though, but I've bought this camera for its exceptional video raw capabilities. So I thought there has to be a workaround, and I was right. So I did some tests at my home, and here is the result. For these tests, I've set the Zebra to 100. Everything is just easy when you shoot this ISO from 100 to 800. You can change your exposure until your Zebra disappears and then simply raise your exposure by changing the aperture or ND filter in number of stops that equals your difference from ISO 100 to the ISO you shoot. So let's say for ISO 400, which is two stops higher than ISO 100, you can just raise your exposure by two stops from when your zebra disappeared and you'll be fine with your highlights. For ISO 800, you can raise your exposure by three stops. Things change when you set your ISO to 1600 or 3200. So to get the right exposure for ISO 1600 preserving your highlights, you have to close your aperture until your zebra disappears and then go three stops higher. To have your highlights safe in the range of ISOs from 3200 to 102400, you have to add two stops after zebra disappears. Also mind that you can always add up to one stop and recover your highlights with the highlight recovery tool. That's it. If you like this tutorial, please press the like button. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe. If you don't like, write me about my mistakes and what I can change to make my videos better. Thank you and see you in the next videos.